Welcome to a new video by DJ SPRC. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about the new Traxxas TRX4 K5 Blazer. For some of you who do not know exactly uh, about the uh, K5 Blazer, the physical Blazer was introduced in 1969 uh, by Chevrolet uh, or General Motors if you want to one of their entries in the uh, 4x4 vehicles. And then Traxxas decided to honor the Blazer K5, especially the 1979 body that you see in front of you right now. And I say they did a terrific good job on it. The details on this vehicle is very good. Looking roughly around it, the rally wheels that they did on it is pretty much banged on to the uh, original ones you'll have your outer ring that's a chrome you have your steelies in the middle and your cap that hides your uh, your bolts at the same time very nice uh looks pretty much like i said banged on stock mirrors i was told they're not the correct um uh, mirror that goes on the vehicle itself now i did not look into it to confirm that but they still look nice on the vehicle the other detail i noticed on the physical handle here that for some of you guys will know is i'm not sure if you can see it here you have the chrome handle then you have the black push button right underneath the handle the original k5s this is how you were able to open your door on your vehicle just by pushing the button traxxas has that one banged on they just gotta went just keep it chrome and don't really care but they went that detail and i really really like it the other things they did too they did basically wipers on it for scale points the other option I, that I noticed on it, not sure you'll be able to see on this video here, but the physical grill is meshed or perforated. That did not come out correctly. And behind it, it's just a sticker to look like it's a radiator. Somebody could remove that sticker, even open it, and basically insert a radiator behind it and to be able to gain scale points if you ever go to a competition. And the vehicle is designed to be able to have LEDs, headlights, taillights, even flashers on the side. Nice scale bumper on it. Now, if we go to the back, again, scale bumper, the handle for the physical tailgate here, and the taillights that you'll be able to add lights to it in the future. Now, if we do remove the, the body off the vehicle itself and show you the inside, it's gonna be a little bit harder to see here. It's about the lightning. The lights that I have are not set up correctly. But again, inside here, you'll have your buckets to remove to add the stock bucket that Traxxas will supply. You have the fork bolt that holds that grill to be able to do insert a future radiator if you wanted to. And same thing for the back. The pods are right here to be able to add some lights. Now the rest of the vehicle is pretty much a basic stock TRX4 same edition as the uh, bronco you still have your two servos for your diffs your two speed transmission your uh, speed control receiver in the box here again it's equipped to be able to put the stock leds for the lights for the wheel well on the four corners the body back sits perfect on it and the other thing too that Traxxas did 
that did not deal with the sport and the defender. I'm not sure if you guys can physically see it, but the windows are not blacked out. They're see-through. If you look at it, you feel you see through the body. You might be wondering why somebody won't want that. For the people at heart that want to create an interior in this vehicle, you don't need to buy another body and repaint it just to get your clear windows. Now you can create an, a complete interior in this vehicle and make the vehicle look even better. This is the introduction to the new TRX4 K5 Blazer, the 1979 Blazer, should I say. If you guys have any questions or comment, post them below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. And if you guys like this video, hit that thumbs up button in the corner. I appreciate that very much. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.